All right, we're gonna give this a shot. Uh, this is one of the spots. I don't think you can see it nearly as well. And uh, <laughs> the other spot, night and day difference there you can see. So this used to be barren or bare, kind of like right up against that, that edging there, right there, but all out, out in here. So you can see it's darker green, lush, and it's there's still some bear in there, but the, so the problem was that it was bear, <laughs> and uh, you know then it got thicker as it came out into the lawn, out this way, and it got really skinny in there. So you can see that dark green. This um, this is clay soil, and um, the product I use Air Five Plus. This is the way I applied it. it was this little guy right here, the basic hose in sprayer. You want to get the lowest number gallon you possibly can because then you're running the least amount of water through this guy. If you get a 20 gallon, you're going you're gonna to have to get 20 gallons of water through it to, to empty out the contents. So put in what you want there as far as the amount of product. Um, and then, uh, you know, put in 16 ounces and fill up the rest with water. And water is the main deal. In fact, yeah, I'll put it in the title. This 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 video is about water. The reason I'm showing you this spot and not the other 15 or so places that I put this on this Airify Plus applied it is because that's water. That's what that does. So we got shade all over here, and he's got a sprinkling system which he didn't use. Um, like he didn't want to spend too much money. Basically, is what it amounts to. So he didn't he didn't sprinkle as much as he could have or should have or you know like according to the build a healthy lawn book says you know deep watering every once in a while things like that so that's this is after i think it's been three or four years and uh i i believe i only put it on twice i put on as much as i wanted like he says talk to stewart you know he'll tell you as long as you got water you're good if you don't have water you might as well not even I mean, you might as well do something else, you know, pour concrete. So, yeah, there's a spot where I did it, and over there, right right, right at the end of these walkways. You can see a little bit of dark green there, but this one's not as dramatic, I don't think. Um, they were pretty bare there, and I haven't done it, like I say, since. And they're just holding their own. So, yeah, I, I am a big fan because as long as you have water, it's going to do its job. It's going to bioactivate. It's going to change the soil. And we ha this is uh, West Michigan we're in here. So we have mostly sand. Most all of Michigan is Kalkaska sand, but you've got spots of clay, heavy clay soil. And it's so heavy they build bricks out of it. And um, yeah, <laughs> trying to grow grass in it, it will not grow unless you have water. And the, um, the comparison is is that I did the exact same thing here on another property, oh, five, ten years earlier, whatever it was. I put a whole bunch of it on in the fall. The next spring, it was like this. It was lush and green. And she doesn't water on this other property. And so within two years or three years, it looked just as bad as it ever did. It was at the base of a pine tree on the south side, and she does not water. And it was like I'd never done anything. But this one, yeah, you can see it's, it's holding its own. Mostly probably due to the shade and the clay soil will hold water but also since he has a sprinkler here you know we had a drought this last fall this is 2023 or I'm sorry this last spring and uh, still this is doing better all right well um, yep the airify plus is the bomb that's the as long as you got water. Did I say water? Water in Airify Plus is the bomb. First, concentrate on your watering abilities. And if you can fertigate, they call it fertigate, where you put the stuff right in your, put your Airify Plus right in your your irrigation system, well, then you got it made. You, you, you're decreasing the amount of water you're going to need. And, yeah, that's for the really rich people, I guess. But So, um... I said all that to say uh, I recommend this stuff to everybody, but who's got the time it takes to put it on, right? But 
here we are after three or four years i'm not even sure and this still is better than the rest of the lawn you can see it's all gray now there's no dethatching going on here um and there's probably some uh yeah i believe this is some bent grass trying to come up over here there's definitely some over there on that it's just a horrible weed when it comes to trying to grow nice lush green grass but yep that's the that's the spot there <clears throat> So get a hold of the folks at Nature's Lawn and Garden by all means, and uh, yeah, first first get a hold of your sprinkler system or your garden hose and start watering, and then get a hold of the people at Nature's Lawn and Garden. The uh, Franklin is the best part. Uh, Stuart Franklin's the best part there. He uh, he answered my question time after time, and the main thing he said to me is water. So. It doesn't work without water. If you use water, if you have water, if there's water in the soil, you can just about use as much as you want. I've dumped it on right at, straight out of the can, um, you know, because I've applied in a rainstorm type thing, which is the best time to go do it, in my opinion, because you don't have to come afterwards with a sprinkler and put it on. I go out when it's raining, put on my rain jacket, and I'll apply it with either this this hose-in sprayer or my Birchmeyer, you know, um, with a big old nozzle. So yeah there you are really nice day super nice day in uh michigan and uh in the fall what's well, today september the 15th kind of a nice property here and uh this is his front lawn it uh it used to be a nursery oh he's got a dying rhododendron over there who's his landscaper anyway but yeah it's uh hard to keep up with these things when you got people uh putting out viruses you know like my like my doctor friend said for thousands of years people have interacted with bats and caves and now we got to shut the whole world down don't make sense when things don't make sense there's usually a reason and it's usually not a good one all right best of luck um like i say grab a garden hose first and then call the people at nature's lawn and garden i have not tried any of the other products but i can vouch for this one i mean just look at it right there it it's a stark difference that was the worst part of the lawn right there and now it's in my opinion it's it's the best now if i had done that uh, several more times it would probably be even thicker than that and that's without like i say no dethatching it's nothing i don't do anything else i don't rake leaves somebody else cuts the grass here um yeah you can see that that green spot there it just stands out like a sore thumb and i just sprayed it in one spot no no uh no measuring necessarily you know i just dumped it on that's the dumb kind of work is the work for me <laughs> when you don't have to think and there really is no reason for all that you know 22 32 whatever number stuff when you when you have the bomb just put the bomb on it does the trick because it's bioactivating the soil it's opening up and getting oxygen down to the roots um the airify plus and it does the job it's uh the picture i hope is just showing it justice from what i can see it is all right this video is too long buy some today as they say get it going on